Hey guys, what's good? So today's video, I wanted to share a breakdown on the last fashion film video that I posted on this YouTube channel. It's called Hang It Up. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. This shoot was shot back in April and it was set up by Vincent Perry Jr. And again, I'm super grateful for him for having me be part of the shoot as a secondary photographer and filmmaker. And this video here is definitely one of my favorites up to date. And yeah, I, I guess I can say it's one of my top videos, top five. I don't even know my top videos, but this is definitely up there along with my other favorites. Um, for this shoot, I wanted to, I guess, emphasize that I use a lot of BTS footage to create this fashion video. It's something unusual for me because I don't usually do like BTS and create a fashion film out of it, um, but for this one, I was able to do it. and. I am going to go into my raw files and share that with you guys because initially when I was reviewing the files weeks after the shoots, I was like, this dude took so much BTS footage. How is he going to put a fashion film video together? So for me, I was like in deep trouble and I was like, how am I, how the hell am I going to do this? So let's go ahead and go into my A7 III folder. You can see that I've been recording this video multiple times. But we'll go ahead and go into this A7 III footage uh, folder. Uh, there is a final look that didn't make the final cut, so I'm not going to go ahead and I'm not going to go and talk about that one. So I'm going to skip that. Uh, and all this footage here, there's about 36 of them. And let's go ahead and scroll through them. So again, initially when I was reviewing this footage, I was like, I, basically I was just skimming through them uh, one by one just looking at the first couple of seconds and I was like yeah this is not gonna work so we'll go ahead and review the footage so uh, there is some b-roll stuff here here um, so you can see Vincent's head in the bottom so these were the in-between moments where he was uh, filming or taking photos and that's where I, I had a chance to take some BTS stuff and a lot of stuff right here was stuff that I used for this uh, fashion video um, here where I had the moments with the model so I think we were on time we were limited in time so I think we were like 15 minutes each or 15 minutes total I don't remember uh, Vincent remind me um, how we did this um, I think I think it was 15 minutes each well I don't know but we were um, limited in time because also the Sun was going down and um, you know, everyone has, is on schedule, but for us, this this was our moment to create this um, create this editorial, photos and video. So here are moments where she's getting her makeup done. Here are moments where um, here were moments where Vincent was loading his film back or switching cameras. That's when I came in there. Um, close to the mall and directed her um, what to do. In my life. So basically, again, as I scroll through this, you're gonna s you're gonna see that I've used a lot of this BTS time. footage um, on the final video. So all 36 clips. There's nothing more. I was like, yeah, I don't know what it, I I don't know if this can happen. So we'll go ahead and go into Premiere Pro. I'll go ahead and close this. And um, before I go into details, details about this video, I'm not gonna explain color grading or any crazy stuff. Um, as you guys can see, my timeline doesn't look very complicated. So I also want this to be an inspiration for people who are interested in creating um, fashion films or video portraits, right? So. Uh, before we get into this song choice, I'm not going to play it too much because of copyright reasons. So song choice, I was listening to my Spotify discovery playlist and the song came up and I said, yeah, this this is it. This is what I want to use for this video and definitely credit the artists on, on the published video. So, so yeah, so going to my timeline here, if you see my last video on the block, I explained that you don't need to go crazy with your timeline. You don't have to use special 
effects, special transitions, you don't have to do speed ramping. It really depends on how you want to put this together. A fashion film video, there's really definitely no rules to it. It's for me it's I treat it like a, a blank canvas. It's my it's it's my art piece, right? So basically again when putting this together as you see in my my timeline there's no transitions in between them but i do specifically use some type of moment where i instead of using special transitions i use details uh, for transition so for this clip here i am zoomed into the model's face or into her hands there are moments where i film the tarp right you've seen that in the beginning of uh, when I was reviewing the, the raw footage, right? So taking that clip and using that, um, here are moments where I, <clears throat> I took some clips and reversed them. So usually she's holding the, the tarp and, and dropping them. So for this clip here in particular, tarp goes up. Um, another, another clip here <clears throat> that I wanna share with you guys had assistants holding up the tarp for her so for this clip here in particular I can zoom it out all right so pros are gonna bash me on this because I didn't even crop this video so I basically zoomed it in so you can see Hoa in the back running around and you have Abigail our makeup artist holding the tarp as well so you can see that they're they're there see so basically zoomed in so just showing you guys this process to inspire others. Like you can just use the, these basic functions to create a fashion film. So zooming it in, using like B-roll footage as transitions. Um, what else did I do in this video? Um, putting in black and white and what else? Again, uh, let me just show you guys this, guys this one. So this was another zoomed in footage here. So definitely not crop. Oh, this looks interesting actually with her there in the background. Something could have happened there, but it's too late for me to do something cool. So going to the footage, definitely like using B-roll as transitions. Um, zooming up in the footage for details or what else and that's it you know like throughout this whole video um, again no special transitions no nothing no, none of that as I go through this video all, all the clips are basically two to five seconds or even a little bit longer and that's basically it just keep I think the biggest tip for being on a shoot is just to film a lot film film as much as you can and um what was it so the topic of this video is using a lot of bts footage so lastly let's go into that uh, as i go through this video so this right here in the beginning these first five three seconds this is bts right here going to this she's not looking into the camera that's bts bts BTS, B-roll, here when I had the moment with the model where I had her come close to me, and B-roll, another, another one here, this one maybe she's looking away from the camera, maybe she's working with Vince, let's see. Oh, this is the moments when I had time with her. This one, maybe. Let's see. This one's definitely B roll here. I was counting how much BTS switch that I was using. So, yeah, as I was going, as you see, I was able to create a fashion film video through BTS footage and and that's okay so if you're out there if you know a photographer you want to go out there and film some bts and want to create a video out of it do this because this works 
Um, another thing that I do want to emphasize when creating a fashion film is that for me, it's important, especially when we're working with a team and an editorial, I want to make sure that every look is shown here that the style is put together. I want them to be proud of the, the stuff that they put together as shown in this video. And I want the model to feel good when she sees herself in this video, that she looks good in every look that she threw on, right? And then lastly, making sure that our makeup artist is proud of what she done in this um, in this editorial. So basically makeup and even also hair. Important for me to make sure that my team is covered throughout this whole video. So definitely, you know, props to them for making this stuff happen because without them, this video wouldn't be made. So definitely, you know, make sure that your whole team is in this video. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gives some of y'all some inspiration um, when creating fashion films and hopefully it gets you guys get started. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions about creating fashion films or anything like that, go ahead and message me on Instagram or leave a comment below on this YouTube, cha uh, YouTube video. Or you can also join my Discord channel where I could share this stuff with a bunch of people who are on there. It's definitely not the most active, but I definitely would love to just start using my Discord channel again there and having discussions. Well, anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe to this channel if you're new to it, and there's going to be more stuff to do on this channel. There's, there's plenty of stuff coming but I'm not consistent with my YouTube channel, but I promise there is going to be so many, so much more videos on fashion shoots, editorials, test shoots, and all that stuff. So I'm going to share some, you know, two cents, golden nuggets with y'all. So stay tuned for that, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Wait, that's a okay. great Are you guys connected?